What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, check this out. I got some great updates about Zona Norte as I was there last weekend and saw a lot of my subscribers at the Chicago Club and at the Tropical. I also have updates about the recent temporary closure of the Adelita Bar, the HK, and pretty much everything all around Zona Norte and in between. So go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button, guys. It's good to be back. Okay, guys, check this out. First and foremost, the Adelita Bar. All right. You see all these news articles about minors, trafficking, the media likes to throw those words around and sensationalize everything. Let me tell you guys what's happened, okay? Just like in America, there are authorities in Mexico that monitor these bars, okay? They go in there, they check everything out, they check the girls out, they make sure they have their health cards, they make sure they have their IDs, just like they did at the Hong Kong Club a couple months ago. Okay guys, check this out. There are literally thousands of girls that work in Zona Norte, okay? When you take all the girls from the Adelita Bar, the HK, the Chicago, all the street girls, all the girls that fly in for the weekend, there's thousands of girls that work in Tijuana's Red Light District. Well, guess what? They found a few girls at the Adelita Bar that were underage or were using someone else's ID or using a fake ID. The same thing happens in America. It's not a big deal. The same thing happened at the HK Club a couple of months ago. Let me tell you guys what's happened. What they do is they shut the place down, they remove the girl, they find the place, a monetary find, and in a couple of days the place is up and running again, okay? Guys, this is the very small percentage of bullshit that happens, okay? The big percentage of these girls, they're whores. They're there because they want to be there. They like to be whores. They don't want help. They're not being trafficked. They're flying or driving in and out on their own free will. All right, guys, that's that. I'm going to get back to that a little bit later in the video. Let me jump to the bars right now, guys. First of all, Hong Kong, great time, still the king, super fun, lots of hot girls. I've never seen more girls in the HK than I saw this past weekend. I'm talking about hot girls, ugly girls, short girls, fat girls, you name it. They had it, okay? So you definitely want to hit the HK Club up when you get a chance. Also, guys, Chicago Club. Chicago Club is absolutely kicking ass and taking names. It's still a place where a man can go knock off a hot piece of ass for 100 bucks, okay? It's a great place. They recently had last weekend an anniversary party. I was there. I saw James there. I saw Escobar there. I saw Valerie there. I saw Daniela there. And, you know, if I forgot to mention your name, guys, it's just because I met so many subscribers and saw so many people. I apologize for that. Anyways, Chicago Club, hell of a good time, and it's elevated from where it has last year. Same thing with Tropical. Tropical's taking a step up. It's really amazing. It's unbelievable. Guys, if you want to go down to Tijuana's Red Light District, watch some of my videos. Smash that like and subscribe button and know that you can still go down to Tijuana, Mexico. You can knock off a hot piece of ass for 100 bucks. You can be treated like a king. You can walk right back into San Diego. All right, guys, check this out. And no, you do not need a passport to go. The last thing I want to talk about is a couple of girls that I know. Excuse me, I've been really sick. A couple of girls that I know, and these girls, one of them's 33 now, and the other one's 27. I was talking to these girls about when they got started in the game, in the prostitution game. Now, neither one of these girls got started in Tijuana. Both of these girls got started in Texas, the Texas border towns, okay? Both of them told me that they went there on their own free will. They've never had a pimp or someone traffic them or have someone in control of them, not at all. They used a fake ID when they were 16, 17 years old. Now, I don't condone that. I'm just telling you what they did. They like to be horse. They're still horse. They want to be horse, okay? Like one of them told me, she goes, I like everything about it. I like the attention, the money, the sex, the drinking, the party atmosphere. I have no responsibility. I don't have to be at the office at 8 o'clock. I don't have to go to sales meetings. I am totally on my own free will. I said, hey, sounds like a deal to me. Too bad I'm not a hot chick or I do the same thing, right? All right, guys, that's your update. There's no need to panic. Do you want a still a lot of fun? I'm sure by the time I edit this video, or by the time I get it 
up on the site, Adelita Bar will already be open again, okay? Smash that like and subscribe button. Guys, i got a lot of good videos coming. I've been super, super busy working late, buying real estate, trying to kick ass and take names and take advantage of these high oil prices right here, guys. So anyways, until next time, boys, we'll see you down the road.